Good evening, guys. So after doing my test with the Sporlin, the Testo, and the iConnect, I was a little concerned that there was an issue with using a newer iPad for one device, an iPhone 6 for another device, and then an older first generation iPad for the last device. And wanted to see if I could figure out what exactly was the issue. So I did a little bit of testing and here it is. Wanted to do a little bit of a calibration test here. We've got both the Testo and the Sporlin on a pack of jalapeno and cheddar Johnsonville brats, fresh out of the freezer. Both are on a first generation iPad with a fresh download of the Sporlin and the Testo app and no adjustment of temperature at this point simply because we're trying to calibrate. With the fact that the Testos are both reading about 25 degrees that to me would be our accurate temperature. And then one of the Sporlins is reading 26, which is pretty darn close. And then the other Sporlin obviously could stand to have a little bit of calibration. Um, what I'm going to do is switch apps. So I'll put the Sporlin on the white iPad and the Testo on the black iPad and see what it looks like then. So we did a swap of the Sporlin to the white iPad and the Testo to the black iPad. And we've got a pretty interesting immediate change from temperatures. Previously, the Sporlin sensors did not agree between the blue one and the red one, but now they're basically the same. And now the Testo sensors are five degrees lower but still close together than they were on the other iPad. So that's kind of a curious change between the two and I don't see a good excuse. Which ones would you adjust if they change between tablets? It's got me thinking and I can't find an answer. I switched them back again and the Testos are pretty much what they were just a minute ago when they were running on the black iPad, basically 20 degrees. And the Sporlins, about what it was, but now the liquid line or high side temperature clamp is I believe two degrees higher than what it was reading when it was on the white iPad a minute ago and it's not as close as it was to the low side temperature clamp as it was before. You guys would probably do well to switch back and forth or reverse and fast forward to uh, compare the numbers again if you'd like but that's the best I can do is put them all on a piece of Johnsonville jalapeno cheddar bratwurst that literally just came out of the freezer a few minutes ago to try to calibrate so I'm obviously having fun with all of this trying to get everything to where it makes sense so I added the I manifold probes and I moved one of the Testos and one of the Sporlins to the other Bratwurst. Doing that, we've got the Sporlin to agree. The Testo now has a variation of, what is that, two degrees? And the I-Manifold has a three-tenths of a degree variation between the two. Now there's half a degree variation. Lastly, I wanted to compare 
all three apps on the newest newest iPad just to see where the differences were there. We've got 29 degrees on the suction and 32 degrees on the high. And then on the white iPad, there is seven tenths of a degree difference between liquid and suction. We've got the Sporlin on the newer iPad. That one's reading 33 and a half and 34 and a half. And then the iManifold on the black iPad is reading seven tenths of a degree difference between the two. So, does this tell us anything other than it's really hard to compare temperature clamps? I don't know. You tell me. I was concerned that using an older iPad for the Sporlin comparison was part of the reason why things did not read like the rest of the gauges. But I don't know that I've proven one way or the other that that was or was not a problem, only that it's very difficult to get temperature clamps to agree with each other. Anyway, that's my attempt to try to figure out why it didn't work. Why did the temperatures change strictly between devices? What is the, what is the reason? The only one that seemed to me to be fairly consistent across each device was the iConnect. It was consistently seven tenths of a degree different between the two sensors, but the temperatures were pretty much the same across, other than the change in the temperature of the bratwurst themselves. But every other sensor, to me, seemed to have changed between tablets, which doesn't make any sense, and certainly brings to question whether or not it's advisable to change devices that you use for your smart tools. Personally, I always use one iPad for my iManifold. I always use my work phone for my Sporlin. Up to this point, I haven't had the Testo very long, but I've always used my work phone for the Testo as well. So I'd really like to know what you guys think in the comments, your feedback, your ideas. Be interesting to talk this one out. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next video. Oh, oh, oh.